in Java, a package is a collection of classes that you can import to use into your project. These classes might come with Java that just aren't part of the everyday set of classes that you always use, or they might be from an external third-party source. Regardless of it, as long as it's in your correct path and you have access to it, you can import these packages. The way you do it is very simple. Inside of our source code, we're going to go up and we need to be actually above where we define our class. So I'm just going to put a couple of empty lines and then specify import. Import is the keyword that's going to allow us to import something. Now we already get one package by default. That is java.lang. In every class that's inside java.lang, we automatically import. But in this case, we're going to do java.util. Java.util is one of the most common libraries that I always seem to import. Then I'm going to say, well, do I want to import the entire package or just a single class? Either way, I'm going to say dot. And you can notice here it's going to provide for me a list of sub packages. And these are things like concurrent and function, random, etc., as well as classes. You're going to notice that the package names are all lowercase, including the sub packages, where if we import a class, it is capitalized using the standard naming convention that Java follows. So I can, for example, import a specific item or a collection. For example, I might do star. Star is how I import the entire package. Now, this does not include the sub packages. I would need to import them on a new line. For example, import java.util. And then I want to do logging.star. This gives me my utilities for logging in addition to my Java util. Util is short for utilities. I can also import a specific or single class. So say import Java dot, in this case, I'm going to do awt dot, and let's say I need a specific thing such as active event. By specifying that specific class name, I get that very specific class. I don't get anything else in AWT. Now you might ask, well, why would I do that? Well, in theory, it's a little bit faster. Java is only going to use what you actually need and what you actually require. So it's not going to make your runtime any slower to say import.star. It's going to make your development time faster. Now, when Java originally came out, computers weren't nearly as fast. And so specifying the exact class you needed, especially if you're only using one or two classes, out of an entire library might have been a little bit faster for compile time. Nowadays, it's not worth worrying about. So that's how you can import a package, sub packages, and an individual class within a package. It makes it much more functional for you to be able to do a lot of different things. Hopefully you found this video helpful to you. If so, please give the video a like just so I know I'm doing a good job. Thanks.